we're going to talk about this knife right here. Spyrco Para 3 Lightweight. But before we do, I just want you to understand this video is actually broken up into two parts. When I filmed it, it was just too long. So this video focuses on why I think this knife is so versatile. There's a second part to this video, which is also kind of the history of pocket knives for me, where I show you pretty much all the pocket knives I've ever owned. So make sure you go find that one. Now let's get into this knife. I call this the most versatile pocket knife. It's the first pocket knife that I've really bonded with. I mean, I literally go nowhere without this. I love this thing. But I call it the most versatile knife because it's the only knife I've ever seen that you can open every way you can imagine. Let's get to that in a minute. First, let me tell you everything else I like about the knife. First of all, these scales, plastic. The original pair of three came with micarta. This is plastic. There's not even metal liner in there. The metal stops about here. This is all pure plastic, which might scare you, but check this out. That's me pushing as hard as I can. There's no give in this plastic at all. I don't know what kind of plastic this is, but I have no worries about this. And in fact, because it's plastic, I know that if it ever broke, it's going to be easy to get replacement scales. And the advantage of that too is this thing weighs about a third of this thing. And like I said, this is a heavier knife, but it's not a super heavy knife because it's a smaller knife. But this, I've been, sometimes I'm walking around the house the next day and going, where's my knife? Where, where did I leave my pocket knife? And you know where it is? It's on the pants I was wearing the day before. It's so light that I forget it's there. Another thing, looking at these two knives, until I got ready to do this video, I never noticed this, but check this out. The blade profile is exact. Look at that. Same shape, same length and pretty much the same grind. Now remember this problem. Look at that. Now look at it here. If I hold it back here, which is where I prefer to hold it usually, almost the whole pinky. I got a lot of control there and you know where a lot of that control is coming from too is here. That bump that I always thought was weird that made me kind of hesitant to buy a Spyroco knife is something that's probably one of my favorite features because of how much control it gives me over the blade. Not to mention how awesome the spidey hole is, which we will still get to, I promise. But if I really want a full grip on this knife, I can choke up. This is actually a knife, I mean a finger hole. Now look it. I'm on there completely. I'm not crazy about this, number one, because when you're holding a knife like this, it's a different kind of cutting. Right? This is a chopping or a dicing. This isn't so much a slashing. I also don't like the fact that I could easily slide up there and grip down, especially with this finger. Can you see that line on my finger? You might not be able to see it on the camera. There's a line scar that goes across my finger right here. When I was a kid, I picked up a, a, a knife that it was hard to tell which side was which went like this you know just kind of like going like this but on the wrong side and I cut my finger in half <laughs> so always a little bit cautious about where my fingers are when it comes to blades so as you can see they're pretty similar knives but very different experience I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this clip I love it <laughs> it's actually one of my favorite clips I never have a problem getting this on anything or getting it off this grip pattern great this is a great grip pattern i feel like i have so much control over the knife because of this grip pattern now you might be wondering why i'm at the zoom level that i'm at you know i've been hanging out over here it's because the microphone's over here why do i have all this room over here well we're going to do some stuff where we open the knife here and i need the room for you to see what's going on you saw me open it already you saw me do this one that's the spidey flick that's the most i want to say maybe the most popular but the flashiest way to open a Spyderco knife that you'll see on YouTube. Of course, there's the slow roll, which I think you've seen already. There is the lock here. See that? It's just like this knife, the liner lock, except it's on the back instead of the front. 
So you're getting something very similar to that level of security, but it's back here. So you can open the knife by just opening that lock. See how, look at that, look at that blades just hang out there loose. There's nothing going on there. There's no springs in this knife. This is all washers. So if you want to open the knife, you just flick it open if you want. It's always opening. It's why knives like this and knives like this and the buck that I could never bond with them is because I always wanted to open, which there's another way you can open it. Quick flick with the thumb. Now I'm not going to just show you all the ways you can open this. I'm going to show you how to do them too, because why not? And I like it's part of the proof for why this is a versatile knife. Because once again, I said you can open it almost any way you can think of. So you got the slow roll, you're holding it here. This one's the easiest to figure out. And just putting your finger, your thumb into the hole like that, and just pushing, letting the knife do it itself. We went through this one. Let's go through this one. Check this out. See how I'm holding the, the knife out here? It's not in my palm. It's in my fingers. Now I'm just going to put the tip of my thumb in there and I'm going to go in this direction. This is something very important when we go into flicking this knife and maybe a lot of different knives as well. When I first got the knife, my tendency was to try to flick it this way. See what happens? Or this way, which sometimes will work, sometimes won't. And when it works is when I accidentally do it the right way, which is this way. See how I'm holding the knife? My finger there. It's up against this meat of my hand here. My thumb's holding this down. Okay, I've got a good grip on the knife there. And all I'm going to do is I want to position the knife. People will tell you where to put it on your hand. You just need to know those three spots generally. But everybody's hand size is different. The way you position the knife should all be determined by the direction of the finger you're going to flick it with. So in this case, we're flicking it with this one. And I want that to go the direction that I want the knife to go. Because what happens when I flick it out in that direction, it hits the pivot, boom, continues. So when I hold it, I'm holding it in a way that I have securely, but that's going to make this a natural motion for my finger. I'm not even going to put a ton of my finger in there. See, just a little bit. Flick. Just like that. Right? Boom. Now it's in a bit of a different spot. But it doesn't matter because my finger is flicking in the right direction. Boom. See how hard that comes out of there? That's the spidey flick. You're not pressing super hard here either. I'm, I'm literally barely holding this knife in there. And I'm not flicking hard. Because of that, I can also use it for my ring finger. I adjusted the angle a little bit because, once again, I want my finger to naturally go in that direction. And flick. Oh, there's also this one. See how I'm holding it? That finger there. Thumb there. And I'm just going to go like this with my wrist. Like this. Boom. Let's try it over here with a little more room. Boom. You're just going like that. Boom. But that's not it. There's a lot of knives you can open like that. But what about my pinky? Can I get it to work with my pinky? Hell yes. Same principle. Pinky's going in the right direction. Knife opens. Can we do it with this finger? Because remember, this finger's been holding the knife. So what do we do if we want to flick it with this finger? Well, check it out. See this? I'm going to grab it like that. You see how I have it? between the flesh of my skin and my fingernail. Hold it down with my thumb. My finger's gonna go in the right direction. Boom! Open it with your pointer finger. So that's all five fingers, plus this one, plus this one. Pretty damn versatile, right? But check it out, see that clip? See that H hole on the top there? Yep, it's a reversible clip. All you gotta do is take that screw out, put that over here, and now you got a lefty knife. Is it as versatile on the left hand as it is on the right hand? Well, check it out. Spidey, ring, pinky, 
slow roll, thumb flick, snap, wrist snap, and now the hardest one. Let's see if I can do it. Why is this one the hardest one? Pointer finger? It's the hardest one on the other hand too. But it's particularly hard here because right now this is set up for a right hand. So if I use this for the right hand, I don't have this to hold on to with my fingers. So I actually have to hold the scale of the knife. See that? And the big problem with this, this is actually not too scary, but the problem is, is the way I'm holding it, the blade sometimes is just going to rub up against my fingernails and it's going to cause friction. It's going to slow the blade down. So even if I do get it open, it's going to probably be slower. Well, that wasn't bad. I did it on <laughs> the first try. So can you name another knife that you can open with all 10 fingers? I can't. The other thing too, for lefties, I know that sometimes the locks, people will tell you, oh, the lock works for the left hand side and the right hand side, but it's usually more comfortable for one side or the other. Case in point, this knife, sure. I could theoretically do that here, but this is scary because check out where my thumb is when I start to close the blade. It's right in the path of the blade. It's not where you want your thumb to be. So this is not a lefty friendly knife, in my opinion. This one, on the other hand, I actually think it opens better for lefties. I have it open. I want to close it. Look what I have to do. I've got my thumb here, my fingers here, and I'm just going to pinch that, right? So I'm pinching the knife there. When I have it on this side, look what I get to do. I get to just push down with my thumb and it feels like it's almost made for that more. Look how easy my thumb goes into that divot. So I actually prefer closing this knife with my thumb. I mean, look at, even if I do it lazy with just two fingers, look at that pinch grip I have on that knife because of that lock. I have that here too, but you know what? This doesn't feel very secure. My thumb's actually moving while I'm doing this. Now you know why I think this is such a versatile pocket knife. So if you want to know about the other pocket knives I've carried, make sure you find the other companion video to this one. And while you're here, maybe you should hit that subscribe button.